Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. If you are already have a duplicate running the local and network app backups, but now you are looking to set up a cloud data backup for disaster recovery, you have come to right place. In this video, we will show you how to backup your data to cloud drive like google drive and restore it its original location duplicate also support many other cloud backup solutions including dropbox amazon s3 microsoft azure microsoft onedrive and more so let's dive into the video and configure our cloud backup you can see here duplicate is already installed so have to open it and then we have to put the password we have already locked this web interface you want to know how to unlock it you can go ahead and watch my video in the playlist okay you can see here i have logged into my web interface of duplicate now you have a option here this is the home page so we have a choice here to we can edit our existing backup or we can create a new backup so why don't we create a new backup because these all these three backups are for the different purpose so let's create a new backup for our cloud backup so we have to go and click the add backup in the add backup we have to select the two option configure new backup import from the file so let's select the configure a new backup next and it says that what do you want to backup it says that give your name for the backup so i want to like google drive backup and then you have to write the description description you can see write the same thing description is important there it says that passphrase so passphrase you have to give the strong password this is for the encryption purpose so either you can give the password or generate the new ones you can see once i click on the generate it's generating the password just keep this if you want to give your own give it your own or you can keep this password at the right place so you can see i have saved the password and now i click on the next and it says that backup destination where you want to backup here you have to pay attention i want to backup all my data on the cloud drive when i select this arrow option here you can see the first one is local backup the second one is standard protocol the third one is proprietary. In the proprietary, you can see there is list of lists of software here, starting from the Alum OS, and then it's coming back to Tencent OCOS. There are lots of options here. In this one, we will go with the Google Cloud Drive because that's the easy way to backup our data because that's easily available and everyone have the Google account. So let's create this Google Drive, and then Google Drive gives in the more space also, right? It's even though it's free, providing somewhere like 15 GB of the space. And now it's asking about the give the path. So so as of now we do not have a path here you can give the system name here let's say my home piece and then you have to then it's asking about the auth id so auth id we have to click here so that it will take us to the web page and where it will ask for the login so just click here google drive limited login and now it's asking about the username and password okay so let's enter our user id here and then it asks for the password so password for this account click on the next and it says say that you want to allow this duplicate to access your account yes i want to do that because i want to enable as you can see now the auth id if you want to test it just click on the test connection uh, going to test it you say that you say that the folder name my home pc is not created you want to create it yes i want to create it okay connection works so what it does it is created a, this folder in the my home pc folder in the google cloud drive now it's come to the advanced option i've already discussed in one one of my video you can go ahead and select however you want to do that and click on the next and it says that source data which source data you want to back up so as you know we have a data on our desktop so click on the desktop and this is the important file so i have selected this folder important files and inside that i have photos videos excel word and lots of text document here and here you have a filter let's say what is in the filter as you know that you're backing up your data on the cloud drive cloud space is expensive and you do not want to back up an unnecessary file on on the cloud drive right you want to want the, all the business related information the information with that and let's say in this in this document you have some file called iso or exe and all right so you do not want to back up all those things so what you can do is you can select the option exclude file ex extension and you can see asterisk and you can type that iso or you can say again give the asterisk and that exe right so this is how you can write this you can fill this line with this star with the asterisk and then the file extension so, so that it this backup will exclude this type of extension now click on the next and say that when you want to run the backup so you want to run this monday tuesday wednesday this you can see this is the date wise you have a hour wise month wise custom years and everything is there so you have to select depends on our requirement let's say you want to take the backup on monday and tuesday monday and friday 
so I just uncheck everything here from here and then select only Friday right for me let me select that or let me uh, remove this automatically run backups now click on the next and it says general purpose um, you keep it this as it is for 50 megabytes and it says the backup retention how you want to take the backup until unless you know the purpose of this all of these four or five options you can select either of them but for me I would select the smart backup retention because this is the smartest way you can preserve your one years of almost one year's of data select this one this is my recommendation and you can do it on your own and this is the advanced option you can see when you select the advanced or advanced option this is really advanced option. and uh, you have a multiple options to select it from here you can see you can read you can go ahead and spend some time here read it and try to understand it so when I select the send mail operation you can see that uh, how you want to send the email so you have to configure your email server as well but I'm not going to select that That's, if you want you can go ahead so once we config configure this email option we have to provide the SMTP address and your sender email address address and your uh, sending email address all this information you have to provide it and now we have to click on the save yes I have to I have stored this passphrase now we can see they say that Google Drive backup and let me take you to my Google Drive here let's see what is there in the drive so there is some backup here you can see that we have created one folder it's already there now go it's going to not fine so now let's go back to our application and you can select you can see here run now just select the run now and you can notice progress here this is backup is progressing and you can see here waiting for upload to finish Google Drive back drive very back in data it's very files it ensure that all the files has been updated and once it's done that it will get you get a message here that oh you can see here it says that last backup was successful and it was at so and so time so this much MB and this is the first version of data now let's go back to our drive let's go to our folder wow you can see here it has directly come to the drive which we have created the folder which we have created inside that drive so we have created this my home PC uh, right so this is um, the one folder so when you have a duplicate install on multiple systems you can use the same Google Drive account and then you can create a different different folder with your system names all your data will be backed up to that particular folder so you can see here this is done can we make this uh, video interesting assume that uh, there is a disaster uh, happen at your office location right you are, and you cannot access this system you cannot access the data locally all your local hard drive or system every everything was in your office but now you need your data because this is very important you build a new office or let's say at the home itself you have set up the home office and you want all this data so imagine that let's delete this uh, important files from here so you can see the important files is deleted from my folder now we have set it up this uh, duplicate on our system or the new office now it's time to restore it how do we do that so once you install this application you have to go to the restore or you say that restore it right from the backup file because obviously on the new system you do not have that backup schedule which you have created on your office system right so you have to click on the next and it says that where is your backup location so backup location is where is in the backup location it is on the cloud drive right so you have to give again you have to indicate yourself go to the cloud drive it will ask you what is the location you have to select it so let's see let me show it to you next and it says remember that we have set it up this passphrase the strong password we have to provide the strong password so that it can go ahead and recover your data so if you forget this password I cannot guarantee about that this this can be uh, recovered or not you can see this is the listing the backup data backup dates or oh, what was the folder name which we have given my home piece add the name of the path here and test the connect you can see connection work click on the ok now click on the next this is the passphrase connected and now it says that you are retrieving the data so, so it says that where you want to restore it so you want to restore it you can see this is if you have a over time like when you are running the backup for over time it will show you the date and time like you can see this is the first data backup we have do, uh, done is on the 8th June so do, when you have a multiple dates multiple backups it will show you the dates and the timing so depends on your requirement you can select that and I want to restore all my data from the important file so let's go ahead and continue or you can select one of this file let's say if you require one of this mp4 file you can go ahead and either recover one file or the multiple files so select everything click on the continue and it says the where you want to restore it original location or some other location I want to locate it to the original location now click on the restore so it's recreating the database starting backups restoring files you can okay so this your file it says that your file and folders have been restored successfully click on the okay now go back to our desktop and you can see this important file all our important files have back so don't you think this is a very important feature right very beautiful feature where you can backup and you restore the, your data even the, even though you, 
in the disaster recovery right disaster happened to your office or your data or you can go to the network drives so or go to if you if you are if you are on the same system you have to go to the restore and you have to select this google drive backup which we have created earlier and click on the next select everything and select your date click on the continue original location and then you can go to the restore and you can see here this is how also you can restore your data right so i have explained everything you can restore on the same system but in case of disaster recovery you can go to the your other system reinstall it install the duplicate software give the same user account id and the path where your folder is where you have taken the backup and then best, best, uh, the important thing is passphrase passphrase for your encryption password and then go ahead and take restore the data right you can see all our data is back right perfect so i think we have covered our today's video agenda and that's it for today's video if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video